increase and enhance representation and it has a focus on those who have historically not been included in important conversations about what our city's strategies and priorities are and how resources are allocated. But my reading of the resolution is that it does not come at the expense of others. It, to me, is a more expansive vision of civic participation, inclusion, and democracy in our city. And uh, it is not inconsequential that I think that also improves accountability of city government to the degree that people don't feel engaged or they feel that decisions are being made without them and that they are not included, people start checking out. And as you look at democracy generally in America and even here in Oregon, what you see is even when it comes time to cast a vote for ballot measures or for individuals running for office, increasingly people say, why bother? We cannot have that happen at the community level. We cannot have that happen at the neighborhood level. This is collectively all of our community. And uh, as somebody said earlier today, we need to open as many doors as we possibly can. And as I said earlier during the testimony, um, there is no way I can read this resolution as being anything other than a both and solution as opposed to an either or solution. And last but not least, uh, you know, Portland is a, and I've said this, and sometimes people actually think I'm just um, being Pollyannish, but I'm not. Portland is actually a city that is looked to as an amazing city. And the facts all bear that out. When you look at the economy, when you look at the companies that are moving here, when you look at the people who are moving here young and old, and they're moving here for economic opportunity, and they're moving here for lifestyle, and we are growing, and we are diversifying. And yet, our neighborhoods are experiencing a lot of the growing pains. For those of us who, who, who've been in Portland uh, our whole lives, the city has changed. It's changed dramatically. And some of those changes are really good and really positive. Um, on the other hand, some of those changes are really jarring. We see you know, increased poverty, increased uh, housing and affordability, increased homelessness. Uh, we see uh, strains on our infrastructure and um, strains on our uh, civic infrastructure as well. And cities that will be successful are those cities that can navigate this change from being a smaller city to being a much larger, global, more complex city uh, with all of the opportunities. And believe me, Portland is bristling with opportunities, but also with some of the boils that come along with that growth. And I think, uh, as Commissioner Saltzman said, that it is time that we look at this structure that was originally created in 1974, take a fresh look at it, and ask ourselves, how can we keep the things about the structure that we really like and that we appreciate? And for me, at the top of that list, is engaging citizens in a meaningful way to bring their collective strengths, time, talent, energy, uh, and passion to the table and expand the circle of people who want to meaningfully participate in our city. In other words, it's about leverage. It's about leveraging the opportunity that exists by increasing the number and kinds of people who participate in helping our community to be successful. So I'm very uh, proud to uh, support this Commissioner you daily. I have complete confidence in your ability to carry this to fruition. Uh, Director Ree, I thank you for uh, the work you've done on this. Uh, but by virtue of the fact that this is a resolution, uh, this isn't the end of the work. This is really the beginning of the work. Uh, it's the beginning of the, the brass tax work and the hard work. And um, I, I think we had a good conversation today and we got a diversity of viewpoints. And I know you will internalize those viewpoints and bring us back a great finished product. So I vote aye, the resolution is adopted.